my name is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix, and if you're new here, welcome to my corner. If you're an OG, welcome back. Happy Friday, guys. I'm doing wonderful today. Let me know in the comments how you're doing. I'd love to know, and I truly hope your Friday is going as well as mine. This is episode six of Journey to Redemption, and the last time we met, uh, Nico Champion practically burned down the house, grilling, and... <laughs> Everyone in the house seemed to be sick, and Mason Champion may or may not have been seeking quality time elsewhere via the internet. So that was a bit of an interesting episode, even though it was a hassle getting it out. So let's just hope that this episode goes a little bit better than the last time, all right? Okay, let me uh, put my headphones on because we are starting off poorly. Okay, so... We came in and loaded up the game, and Tatiana seemed to have been invited out, and I, I don't see her friend. Shiloh had invited her out, and I don't see her friend anywhere. Where is Tati? She's over here listening to music. Wait a minute. Did I see her teacher? Where was that? Where was that? Was that up here? Yeah. Here she is. Well, look at Mario. Wait a minute. This is Shiloh's father. Um, Shiloh was the one that invited her out. Uh-huh. But this is her teacher. This is Evie Bernard. If you guys remember, I um, created her. I have a cast video out if you'd like to go see. Um, and hear a little backstory on Miss Bernard. Oh, don't go anywhere, Miss Bernard. Please don't go. Please don't go. Please don't go. Uh-uh-uh-uh. <laughs> I need to talk to her, actually. And you know what? That's perfect because uh, Tatiana... Um, has been had to sign up for well she didn't she, the tutoring class wasn't for her but she had to sign up to become a tutor and miss bernard is over the tutoring program so it's kind of good that miss bernard was here all right now sims writing storylines since 2004 i hear you okay so i'm gonna have her talk to her about um well let's just Let's talk to her about the sunny weather, even though uh, it is, is it dark? It's getting dark. It's like night out. I mean, yeah. Maybe they're talking about the sunny weather, about about the sunny weather, about the sunny weather for the next day. I don't know what the weather's going to be. Um, let's see. Um, really, I wanted her to talk to uh, Ms. B about... Um, ask her how her career is going. Ask her how teaching's going. Um, but you know, Ms. Bernard, I'm glad to see you. I really wanted to talk to you about the tutoring program. My mother had me sign up and I'm not really sure how I'm going to fit that in my already busy schedule. I just, I'm overwhelmed. Um, and Ms. Bernard, she understands. She completely understands. As a matter of fact, she's had uh, some dealings with Tati's mother in the past because Tati's mother is at the school constantly. Where are you going? No, 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 no. This conversation isn't over. I mean, she's not in a good mood. Maybe we can call her over. Maybe she'll sit down and eat with us. I guess Shiloh just stood us up. Or maybe Shiloh set this up. Maybe she saw that. Was, how would she have set this up? I mean, her father's here. Asleep on the couch, by the way. Um, all right, so let's just be dramatic about what's going on in our life because that's typical teenager fashion. You know, I'm grounded forever for the rest of my life. My mom is letting me go anywhere except for school. Well, she did give me some kind of freedom, but I have to make sure I get everything, all my, my school responsibilities done. Um, but I don't know there, everybody in this town is pregnant. Okay, Dina Caliente is pregnant. I, everyone in my town is pregnant. Why are you guys like talking way like like this? This is 
Okay, so, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Um, sorry about that, guys. Uh-huh. Um, so, just have her discuss a few things about life in general. Um, maybe she can give her some friendly advice about how to maintain her schedule. Compliment her outfit. You know, Miss Bernard, you're looking really good. Although this is something that she wears all the time, like pants and a button down or a suit coat. Everybody is asleep. Like they're homeless. Who is this? This is Josh Pollock. I know he's not homeless. He's got a house. Why is he home? Or why is he sleeping in the bench? And where did Tati go? I guess she she's asleep too. Okay, well, you know what? It is it's not that late, girl. It's Friday night. You're young. You are young. And where are you? She just capped a squat right here on the couch. Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna send you home. I see I see what this is about. You're trying to tell me something. You're like, let's get out of here. There's not much going on here. Your friend obviously stood you up for whatever reason. She might have had good intentions. I don't know. I guess we'll find out later. But it's not like Shiloh to stand you up. I guess you could have asked her father, but yeah, we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. We are at the house and it is still fairly early on a Friday night. Tati really doesn't have anything to do. She does have homework, but she's probably not going to do that until um, tomorrow. I mean, she did start it and it looks like, um, can she Let's have her drink that? She's, she's kind of hungry, but I think if she drinks something, she'll be fine. Um, it looks like everybody's trying to go to sleep. And looks like Elle's asleep. So Elle's asleep. Grandma's still awake. Um, so maybe Tati can see if her friends are still up and about and they can go somewhere. I mean, it's still... Is she awake? Did I wake her up? Oh, oops. I did not mean to wake her up. I'm going to send her to bed. Like, Well, she might as well use the restroom. She's probably upset that I woke her up. She's like, look, I was trying to go to sleep. I understand her pain. Don't you hate that when you go to bed and then you have to get up and use the restroom? Like as soon as you're like getting that good sleep and Tati, don't go that way. Don't go in there. Oh, she's going to bed. Um, clean this up. Let's go out. Let's not, let's not waste your, your freedom on things such as sleep. As my dad said, you can sleep when you're dead. Um, so let's give her a, her friends a ring. It's probably a little too late. Let's send a happy text to... Let's send a happy text to Shiloh and see what they're... What they did to see what she and uh, her sister Shay are up to. Um, it might be a little too late because it is 11.30... And Sims do not like to be bothered after a certain time. But maybe instead of um, her calling her girls, she can see what she can get into by herself. She has a, a newfound freedom. Even though it's not a lot of freedom, she, she doesn't want to waste any time. And it's probably going to be too late by the time she finished doing everything. I didn't ask you to clean up the plate. Why is the cat not sleeping in the bathroom? Sorry guys, I am speaking entirely too fast today. I don't know what's going on. I think it's because I just finished eating lunch and it was delicious. It really was. It was um, barbecue wings. I love barbecue wings. I love wings, period. Um, and I was craving them extremely bad. Or is it, I was just craving them. Okay, so grandma's complaining as grandmas do about the mess on the floor tati is not having any luck getting the things done that she needs to get done um i can see where this is going <laughs> i can see where this is going fine 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 we're going to go ahead and forget about sending the text because i'm sure shiloh is asleep by now i'm almost positive um she's not going to yeah. Okay. So let's have her put the food away. I'm going to have her go to sleep and then we will set, we will set something up for the next day because 
it ain't looking good for tonight. And we will be back in just a moment. Okay, it is the next day. Tatiana is already dressed and ready to go. Um, she's actually got tutoring this morning. Um, it's Saturday, so she's got to head to the school. It's still pretty early. I mean, it is 5 o'clock in the morning. So, I mean, she has time to go grab a coffee before school. Everyone is still asleep, so it's a perfect time to head out of the house and go get some coffee before she heads to the school. So where am I going to go? Oh yeah, let's go to Newcrest because there's a couple coffee houses there and I suppose we could go over to Ipsento. I mean, we normally go to Central Park, but let's go to Ipsento and she's, I'm pretty sure her friends aren't going to wake up but maybe, maybe she can get Shelby and Shiloh to, maybe she can get all her friends to meet her there. Why not? I don't know Pia. Who is Pia? We're not friends with Pia. I mean, we could be friends with Pia. There's nothing wrong with Pia. Why do I keep saying Pia? Uh, let's grab Keely because Keely is in our uh, little clique and we don't know her very well, but um, I want to get to know her. Um... I want Tatiana to get to know her a little better since, you know, they do hang out with the same people. All right, we're back at the coffee house. It is raining. It is raining again. What is it with my game that it is constantly raining? And so just so you guys can see, this is Ipsento Coffee House. Um, yeah, so we're going to go in and grab a coffee. Her friends were all game to uh, which is not a normal teenager thing but then again they're not normal teenagers uh these teenagers are uh, grown apparently because no teenagers waking up at five o'clock in the morning so let's grab a coffee let's get a macchiato and uh, i wish you could order more than one thing at a time like i would like to order a macchiato oh mom's here whoa <laughs> Wait a minute. Tatiana's looking at her like, um, yeah, I, for some reason, I knew you were going to show up. Like the look on her face is like, how did I not, how, why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised? What is she doing awake? She is up and ready. Look like she looks like she's getting ready to head out somewhere looking like that. I, Wow. And she butted in line. Like a front. Oh, wow. She is rude today. She's she's not in a good mood. She's already, she's still upset from the other day. Whoops. Sorry, guys. I hit the mic. I apologize. Um, but you know, Tatiana's unbothered. Um, what does it say? Tatiana has discovered something new about herself. This discovery added a new trait, which will have a big impact on Tati's character. Well, what did she learn? Did, did she learn that she was unbothered? That should be a, a, a new trait, unbothered. Um, learning about me, Tatiana discovered uh, she, that she likes a person? Oh, what, she likes any person? Really? Huh. It's always fun learning something new about yourself. Discover dislike in three hours. Discovers dislike in three hours. Really? But what is she like? I have no idea. Huh. Okay. Whatever. I have no idea what she uh, likes in a guy, but, uh, or a person. Oh, so our friends are just gonna, okay, she can sit right here. I feel like, I feel like Elle is spying on her daughter. Oh, she's already sat down. I really do. I feel like her, she's spying on her daughter. Let me stop moving the camera. Like, look, she's even in the corner over there. She's got perfect view, a line of view or line of sight. Like Tatiana is on her best behavior. It's like, I have a, Okay. Well, we'll save that story for another day. Let's just have her enjoy her food and um, 
her coffee. I think she's done. Is she done already? She's probably talking to her friends. Like, you guys, my mom is over here spying on me. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that she's <laughs> going to ever talk to, um, tell them an unbelievable story. Like, I can't believe my mom. No, I do. I believe my mom would do this, but I'm still surprised that she, she is piping hot. She's completely annoyed by something. I think she she's, let's see, what's what's the relationship looking like? It's not looking good. It's starting to creep down quite a bit. All right, well, you know what? It's almost time for her to head to, the, to school anyway, so I'm going to end the conversation there, and I'm going to have her head over to school. And, um, yeah, so where are we going? Oh, yeah, let's just go ahead and start the... the um, after school tutoring, start the gathering there. So we're gonna gather at Windenburg High School and I will see you guys in just a moment. Okay, we're back guys. I know it seems like uh, time did skip and it did personally. Um, I was not um, enjoying the gameplay at the high school because there was a lot going, around, going on and things were just, people were getting way too distracted such as myself. Um, so I guess, what we're going to do is have the tutoring session at Ms. B's house um, by her suggestion. And the kids called their parents just to let them know that's where they were going, you know, just to get their okay, you know, because it could get kind of weird if you're going to your teacher's house, right? So, and she figured it'd be a little more intimate. Um, and since they don't know each other, it would be nice for them. Okay, Pia just went right upstairs, made herself at home. It'd be nice for them to actually um, sit down at the kitchen table and get to know each other on a, a closer, on a more private. Um, why is everybody going upstairs? Oh, okay. All right, so as you can see, I this is a base, not a base game house, but this is a house that's in Windenburg already. And I just started remodeling it or at least, at least Miss B started remodeling it. Um, it's still a little empty. She's doing a little bit of work and she's doing a little bit at a time. So um, I think this is a great setting for them to actually talk and get to know each other. And look, uh, while well, you guys didn't see, whoa, manners. He is like, uh, I don't know, that was rude, I'm out. Sit together, guys. The, what are you going upstairs for? Why are y'all going upstairs? Didn't your parents teach you you can't be nosing about people's houses? That's just straight up rude. You guys don't know her like that. I mean, Mrs. B is cool and everything. Mrs. B is cool and everything, but you can't just be walking in her house. Tati, where are you going? <laughs> where are you going? Sit down. Sit. Talk. Gossip a little. Maybe complain about acne. I don't know. Um, friendly. Let's be friendly to Nico. Ask about day. I guess since everybody is going upstairs, Pia. But Nico is being extremely, okay, he's not being any better, but he was being a little bit rude at the high school. I want to say because all of his friends were there, which they were, attempt to steal money. Wow, Tati. Talk about rebellious. We need to work on your your people skills, girl. Uh, he doesn't have a career. Uh, he's a teen. Well, he could work, I guess. Ask about children. He doesn't have any kids. Maybe she can complain about her parents or her mom. She's like, yeah, I honestly, I didn't want to be here. I was forced to, you know do this as um, extracurricular activity. And he goes like, yeah, me too. I didn't really want to be here either. Um, and we're back upstairs. I tell you what, I, I can see where this is going. We're going to have to get rid of this thing here. I can't. Oh, it won't let me because this is in my house. Hmm. Can we lock the door? Nope. Can't do anything. Darn it. Pia's up here playing on the computer. All right, well, 
Let's see if we can force them all to sit together at the table once again. How about that? I mean, Nico has to use the bathroom. I guess I interrupted uh, his, <laughs> his bathroom time the last time I uh, made them all come sit down. All right, so let's have Miss Bernard kick off the um, the conversation. Oh gosh, let's see. Let's talk about the tutoring program, and maybe he'll join in. I'm gonna let him use the bathroom because he's just gonna keep getting up, and I don't want him to have an accident. Get to know Pia. Talk to Miss Bernard. Maybe we should get asked Miss Bernard about um, her pa um, parents, um, not her parents, but some advice. Pia is on her head to get upstairs. She is, she's just as distracted at Miss Bernard's house as she is was at the school. I think they all are. Um, I should probably make Miss Bernard the captain of the tutoring club. All right, so we're gonna just go ahead and brighten her day. Is she embarrassed? She is about what? Privacy violation. <gasps> Did she walk in on Nico? Classic. <laughs> Classic. She must have. Sit and chat here. That is insane. That's a great way to start off any friendship is to walk on them using the bathroom. I will be right back, guys. And we're back. You guys, I'm so sorry for the interruption. This is just going to be one of those days where, you know, we've just got a lot going on. Um, my mom ordered something from Amazon and on my account, on my Prime account, and it got to her today. Um, and she was looking forward to having it for um, a friend's birthday, and it was the wrong color. So it was just a whole mess, and I guess she just decided to keep it. But it was just going to be a whole problem because we used it. It was a third-party seller. Yeah. Long story short, uh, just be mindful uh, who you're ordering from on Amazon. Try to keep it within Amazon Prime if you can. And uh, yeah. Anyway, so where were we, guys? Um, Serbi was at the table talking, and Nico once again has, oh, he's just making himself at home, going in the refrigerator. But I guess uh, Miss B is cool like that. She really is. And, you know, oh, wow. He just... Look, yeah, okay, so Miss Bernard is okay with that, I suppose, um, and I guess she's like, you know, you guys are probably hungry, uh, can we order a pizza or something? You know, that would be nice if we could order a pizza, can we do that? Um, oh, wait a minute, Tati just, did he just smile because she sat down? Uh, um, how's the relationship going? Wow, they're friends. That was quick. Um, they're watching a movie together. Wow, this tutoring session is not going the way I expected it. But, you know, why not? So let's get to know him a little bit better. Let's discuss his interests. Um, oh. What was... Who was he blowing a kiss at? Sorry. Oh. That was, okay, I was just curious as to who he was blowing a kiss at. Uh, he is just sitting there by her lonesome at the table. Look at her, poor thing. Oh, she's eating. She's like, yeah, I'm hungry. Um, Let's see. Maybe they, um, maybe she can do an impression. Why is she crying? Girl, what is going on? You are an emotional mess. Cozy fire. You're feeling good. This is pleasant conversation. Th great interaction with someone that you used to hate and you guys are like friends fast he's like you know what you're not so bad you, I honestly thought you were some you know goofy little nerd and even though that's not a great compliment um but she's hungry okay she's like you know what? are you hungry Nico would you like to go get something to eat maybe um, not ask him out on a date, but maybe they all can make it a group thing and go to eat. You go with me, guys. This may be a long episode, but 
go with me. This has been like a mess because of all that's been going on. But we're actually going to take everyone out to eat, uh, make it a group thing. Because, um, yeah, they're all hungry. I mean, Pia was sitting there eating a bowl of yogurt. That cannot be that satisfying. So where are we going to go? We are going to go. Let's go to um, Windenburg Restaurant. Can we go here? Let's go here. Or what is this? This is a coffee house. Yeah. Let's just go to the Windenburg. Wait, wait. Yeah. They're too young to be going to a pub. So let's go here. I, Miss Bernard doesn't need to go with us. But just in case, we'd better have her go with us. Um, and, you know, Tati can just say, hey, um, the tutoring session went very long because everyone had a lot of homework to do. And Miss Bernard thought we could take a break um, and just grab a bite to eat. So we'll, uh, we'll play it like that because it is 930 and I'm sure Tati's mom is extremely worried about her. Oh, this is a cute little place. I don't know who built this, guys. I downloaded it from the gallery, and it's from someone I follow. It's very, very cute, kind of intimate, but let's go in and request a table. Um, this is really nice. Oh, she went right in the refrigerator and got her a bowl of cereal. Probably should take the refrigerators out of the restaurant. <laughs> that just defeats the whole purpose of coming here and ordering something to eat. Because we could just, oh. Did she change her clothes? She did. Why? I guess she's like, well, huh, I gotta get... Oh, no. We don't do vampires. Where's he at? Oh, no, Tati! Miss Bernard's like, I'm setting this bowl of cereal down. I'm gonna eat. <laughs> I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat real food. All right, let's see. What are we gonna order, guys? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh I'm laughing because I think it's funny I don't care alright can we order order for a table are we playing musical chairs alright so we are a little too young to be having wine but Ms. Bernard is not so she's going to have some wine is there anything for the, the kids water is there even water there's water there's coffee, there's water. That's it. So guess what? We're going with water for everyone. And oh, we've got all the weird stuff. I mean, there really isn't anything that's teenager friendly, but for the um the uh the snobbier, um, gosh, that's not the word I'm looking for, but, uh, okay. So we're going to go with that. We're going to go with these dishes because we don't have a choice in the matter. This doesn't sound too bad. Cured meat crisps. Okay. Maybe not. Let's go with the artisan fish trio and the sizzled brisket over sour, sour clover salad. That wouldn't, he wouldn't eat that. I'm going to say, let's go with the tiger shrimp and let's just, let's everybody order the same thing. <laughs> let's just make it easy on this beast and oh, who's treating? Tati's like, I got this. I'm charging this to my mother's credit card. <laughs> Payback. It's like, hey, you know what? She's got me tutoring. That's fine. I'm going to uh, charge, whoops, that was my phone. I'm going to go ahead and charge this on my <laughs> My mom's credit card account. All right. Let's hope that uh, everything goes uh, to plan in this restaurant. Why is Nico over there talking to... Is that... That's Mariah Fry, uh, Fires? I can... Fries. Fires. Fears. Fides. <laughs> what? I'm going to stop. Well, he's very social. He seems to be actually nicer than um, I thought, at least in Tatiana's eyes. He's like, you know, he's not that bad. I used to think he was a jerk. 
Okay, so she's going to head to the restroom, and I wish I could control them. Pia is... <laughs> she's... <laughs> she looks absolutely bored, but she's also, like, really uh, paranoid. Did you see that? She's got a really paranoid look on her face. She's like, what am I doing here? I really did not want to be here. All I wanted to do was get my grade up, and these people have kidnapped me. I want to go home. <laughs> I'm absolutely bored. She's so cute. Uh, Ms. Bernard just seems to uh, just be taking uh, taking it all in stride. Uh, Nick, Nick, Nick. Nico's like, eh. Oh, the food came on time. Look at that. Wow. Oh, they all like what they're... It looks all steamy and good. Is this hot or cold? It's... I don't know. All right. Is she going to eat? Oh, look, you guys. Oh, no, you don't have the same hairstyle. All right. So we're going to have them eat up. Maybe have some. Oh, somebody didn't like their food. Okay. No one. Is anyone enjoying their? Okay. Everyone's enjoying it. Nico's the only one that's not really enjoying his meal. All right. Well, let's let's chat it up with everybody. Um, let's talk to Pia a little bit more because I definitely want to get to know her. Maybe we can make a joke. See if she'll respond well to it. Make friendly conversation. Um, and you know what? Let's, let's chat up Coach Santiago because all the kids know that she has a crush on Coach Santiago. Can we do it? Yes. Let's chatter up. Uh, who's dead? Somebody died, guys. I hope it's not one of my Sims. Where is Coach Santiago? Oh no, she doesn't know him. Darn it. I'm gonna have to have someone else do it. Um, well, so much for that. Can we hook her up with someone? Let's see if we can try to hook her up with Coach Santiago. I don't know, do you have to know? Do you have to know the sim to hook her up with the sim? We're going to try. All right, friendly, other sims, hook her up with? No. Okay, well. All right. So I don't know what achievement we just got because I wasn't paying attention. Complete 100 whims. Okay. Seems to be going well. She's not really making friends with Pia. Pia's not an uh, easy egg to crack. Wow, she just walked through the table. <laughs> I couldn't have been the only one to see that. She just walked through the table. All right, so Evie just became good friends with Tati, and Tati's good, becoming good friends with Nico. Let's get to know him a little. Why is he so gloomy? He is in a mood. So let's, I don't know, discuss DJ techniques. Maybe he likes music. Um, and let's be friendly with our teacher. Let's, let's ask her about our day. We know it's good. It is 1 a.m. All right, you guys, we probably should cut this short. Um, let's have Tati go ahead and pay for the the meal. It is $80. That is another $80 on her mother's credit card. She spent like 120 something the other day. When her mom gets the bill, she is going to go off the wall. She's going to come out of a box. It's going to be ugly. It is going to be ugly. So let's give everyone a hug. Can we give her a hug, a friendly hug? Can we give the teacher a hug? Is that possible? Can, can we give her a hug? Let's say goodbye. Can we try to cheer him up a little bit? It's like, you know, Nico, you're going to be okay. We're going to get that grade up for you, and we're going to get you back, you know, playing again. I believe in you. I know you can do it. And Pia, what? Pia's talking? What? She's like, yeah, she's a good tutor. I'm out. 
All right, so um, we're going to say goodbye to Nico. Oops, okay, that's the wrong. Heartfelt compliment. Like, you're pretty smart. I'm, you know, I don't know quite yet, but I'm thinking you're pretty smart. So we're all going to go. I'm going to say goodbye, and we're going to end the gathering. And Tati's going to try to get home before her mother notices that she's been gone this long. And I will cut back in just a moment. It was at that moment Tati knew she messed up. She's like, hey, mom, how are you? How are you doing? Mom's like, where have you been? It is 2.40 in the morning. I know a tutoring class does not take that long. She's like, I will deal with you in the morning. Um, mom is uh, a little rank. Not sure what she's been doing, but um, I'm hoping that is not the walk of shame, Miss 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 thing. She is a grown woman. I understand. You know what? Is mom dating anybody? Does she have anybody in mind? Is she? She knows Charles. <gasps> oh no! Is that? Is that? Grandma L's friend, Grandma Lily's friend. Oh, no, 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 it's not. Oh, gosh, you guys, that is, um, that is Grandpa Charles. Wow, way to keep up with your own story. <laughs> wow. Oh, gosh, I am a genius, a true, how are you just gonna barge in on Grandma Lily like that. Grandma Lily, go downstairs and use the restroom. Take an angry poop. You definitely need to take a shower. All of you guys need to take a shower. I know you just did not go to bed and have not taken a shower. Oh, she's in the tub. She fell asleep in the tub. Wake up <laughs> and take a shower. Okay, she's fighting sleep in the tub. Take your shower and go to bed. Cause you cannot go to bed like that. You cannot sleep. Uh, oh, grandma. Oh, grandma Lily. I'm so sorry. Oh God. I feel so bad. <laughs> Can you just wash your hands right now? I'm so sorry. I feel so bad for grandma Lily. <laughs> and with that, we're going to cut it off here because yeah, uh, everybody's rank in the house and it's just not a good look. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Journey to Redemption. If you're not already a subscriber and not a member of our family, go ahead and push that subscribe button. It'd be greatly appreciated and the notification bell so you'll know the next time I upload. I thank you for watching, guys. Share this, this video and um, yeah, you have a great day. Until next time, ciao.